After traversing Southeast Asia, the culinary caravan in its second stage now retraces the steps of the ancient Silk Route. We are making dumplings from China and with this easy recipe, you'll be making dumplings in your kitchen from scratch in no time at all. Namaskar. Hello and Ni Hao. As we road tripped from country to country on the Silk Route, we realized that it's very interesting that almost every country along the route had their own take on a dumpling, whether it's the wonton in China, a kinkali in Eastern Europe, a menti in Central Asia, or tortellini in Italy. So without further ado, let's get started with making a dumpling. We are doing the vegetarian version of dumplings from China. The ingredients you will need are So the first step for making the vegetarian version of dumplings is making the dough. We have taken 500 grams plain flour and 260 grams water. Press the dough for 15 minutes, covered with a damp cloth. Okay, so while our dough is resting, we can do the filling. So for filling, I've got here about two cups of cabbage, very, very finely chopped. This is green onion, also finely chopped. Carrot. So we've got here some ginger, a little bit of garlic, some green chilies, all very finely chopped, toasted sesame seeds. Okay, this is supposed to be, um, you know, chili flakes. Uh, if you have Sichuan peppers, those would be best, but uh, we didn't have those, which is substituting with regular chili flakes of salt. And to bring all that aroma and everything together, we will pour in some hot oil. Be careful with that. You see, yeah. You should pour it on the aromatic herbs so that you know the flavors actually come out. Yes. Just a little bit of light soy sauce. Not too much. Just some oil. And that's it. With that, your filling is done. Just mix it in nicely. That's our filling. So the dough is rested for 15 minutes. I'll just knead it till it becomes smooth and then let it rest for another at least 30 minutes. See, it's becoming softer and smoother. smoother. Now we will rest it for 30 minutes at least and after that we will start rolling it. So, because we took about uh, 500 grams of flour, yeah. so that should be about enough to make about uh, 50 uh, dumplings. So, we are making small balls like this and then rolling them. And for rolling, we have to keep in mind the sides should be thin. Okay, so now we will do the filling. So we take one of the wrappers, 
your veggies in the middle. Just make sure you strain away. If there's too much water in your uh, filling, you don't take the watery part. Just take the part from the top. Okay, so this is how you do it. You put it in the middle. Okay, pinch it at the middle. And then you start to bunch them up as you go. So this will make a crescent moon shaped. Our beautiful crescent moon shaped dumplings are ready to be pan fried. The base of the dumplings is nicely browned. Now we'll steam them in the pan by adding water until one third of the dumplings are submerged. Add a lid and let it steam for a while. Our dumplings are now steamed. Open the lid and pan fry them for a couple of minutes on both sides. We will serve our pan fried dumplings with a dipping sauce. Take 2 teaspoon spring onions in a bowl. Add 1 and a half teaspoon red chilli flakes. 1 pinch of toasted sesame seeds. 1 tablespoon hot oil. 1 teaspoon vinegar. 2 teaspoon light soya sauce. A quarter teaspoon sesame oil. Add a little bit of sugar. We will serve our pan fried dumplings with this sauce drizzled on it. And this is our pan fried dumplings. So wasn't that simple? If you do make it, let us know in the comments and follow and subscribe to the Culinary Caravan. Bye-bye.